At a press conference Thursday afternoon, Horry County Sheriff Philip Thompson and U.S. Marshal Kelvin Washington talked about the success of Operation Carolina Shield. All of Horry County's sex offenders were checked by investigators. They started Monday morning and they just went to work and they got it done. They knew what they had to do, they knew the time restraints that they had, and, and they got in there and they took care of business. I just think it's very important that the citizens understand where our offenders are living and, uh, and, and have the, the information necessary on what their charges are, who they are, and their photographs. The joint venture landed two men behind bars. Last week, David Knight was arrested in Longs. Officials say he's wanted out of Massachusetts for failing to register as a sex offender and fled here. And Wednesday, Walter Johnson barricaded himself into the attic of a relative's home in Little River and refused to come out. Eventually, he was taken into custody. Johnson faces two criminal sexual conduct with the minor charges out of Greenville County. 13 offenders out of 432 were non-compliant. I'm sorry that we had 13, but I'm glad that's all it was. And, uh, and it shows us where we need to go and what direction we need to go in. With the help of U.S. Marshals, the Sheriff's Office was able to finish months of work in just a few days. In Horry County, Lisa Edge, News Channel 15.